Welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan Akison and I have a good one in store for you today, folks. Behind me here is your 2022 Thor motor. And to your right here, we have the Blue Angels passing by. God bless our troops. But they're gonna be a little loud, so in the background, you'll hear me saying that this is the Outlaw 29J 2022 Thor motor coach. Now to begin with, just looking at this thing, with the roar of those jets in the background, it is a beauty. Nice white paint, nice red and black design, very good looking. You got seamless windows on the outside. Here's your first storage compartment. Like a wrap around the front of the C-Class toy hauler. Got nice big rear view mirrors on the side here for when your slides are in. See all the way to the back. This thing sits on four automated stabilizer jacks. The propane fills down here under this slide, along with your 4000 Onan generator. You got your gray and black water tanks right there. Here's your tankless hot water heater, outdoor shower, TV slash satellite hookup, your 30 amp city power, your city water connection, your fuel, and even some more storage. Actually, this is where your inverter is. Right here is one of the exhaust vents to the toy hauler compartment. We'll talk about that more on the inside. I'm just gonna give you a nice panorama of this toy hauler. Here's your outside little deck patio, ducktailed backside here. This goes down, so when you want to load it up, you can bring up the front two stabilizers, gives you a little better of an angle as you lower this down to get your bike, your quad, whatever toy you're trying to get in the back there, you can make that a little easier for yourself. And if that can't haul enough, you got another, I believe it's a 3,000 pound tow limit on that hitch right there for bringing another tow toy on your next adventure. Backing up, you got your propane hook up there, some more storage. Again, a nice big awning right here with LED lights that run the length of it. Here's your outdoor TV, one of four TVs on this unit. Nice little table right here. And now we shall enter, grabbing a nice big grab handle onto the second one. And before we go in, right here you'll have your awning buttons, your battery disconnect, your solar prep. Moving up, just give a nice panorama of this spacious unit. Right in front of me here you have your living room. Both of these couches turn into beds. That one's got seat belts and you also have these optional tables. We just have two of the four set up. The other two are hiding in there. Actually, take that back. These are the two. You can get two more if need be. Here is the bed that sits above the cab up here. Your second TV, storage above your couches on either side, along with USB cables for charging your phones. Up here, you got nice big swivel seats that you can turn around. A nice big cab to look out of while you're driving to your next campsite. Turning around, all these windows have these nice white awnings for blotting out the sun. Right below this awning is actually another one of the two wireless charging ports for your phone. Mine is a little too old, so unfortunately I can't. But if you have a newer one, there you go. Again, a lot of storage here. An extended kitchen counter right here. Hard top sink. And you got a convection microwave oven here, storage above to the side, a three gas burner oven, and a seemingly oven, but there's actually storage in these two compartments. Now your cold goods, you're gonna keep in this fridge freezer combo right here, North cold. Again, plenty of space for all your food that you wanna bring in your next adventure. Here is number three, third TV. Again, you got sunroof right here, one in the master, or in the bedroom, I should say. AC is ducted, and here is one of the two AC units. We'll get to the second one back there, but before that, here's your bathroom. A larger shower than you'd expect in this unit. Again, I'm not the tallest, but there's still plenty of space in here. When I climb in, see, 
about, oh, actually more than my arms reach, so plenty. Here's your second roof vent. AC is ducted in here as well. And then the rest of your countertop space for your toiletries. There's your thermostat, little buttons, and then you can plug in your hair dryer there. Storage below the sink. Whoa. Medicine cabinet. And then, not the iron throne, but your foot flush toilet that sits on those steps that go right into your shower. Right here you have your little master closet, I would say, for keeping all your clothes and whatnot. Garbage can right there. Now into the toy hauler aspect of this unit. So right here, as you can see, the master bed actually climbs up to the ceiling for storage, which we will put that away right now. Little button right here, right under the AC. Let's see if I press it the right way. Now, as this goes up, as you can see, you got a nice cup holder at the end of your bed, along with some more storage. However, there's even more below. Before we get to that though, there's one of the exhaust ports right there, that rectangle on the wall. Got outdoor speakers up here, your radio slash entertainment system. This opens up a little gearbox for all your tools for working on whatever toy you got back here. Whether that be the Harley, you're taking the Sturges, or maybe just the four-wheeler you're taking down the North Shore. Whatever it be, it will fit back here. Also, you got a nice little mosquito net back here on each side. So if you want to actually pretend like you're camping back here but don't want all the bugs, you can close that. And there you have it, a nice little camping area in your toy hauler area. Nice straps to get your vehicle situated so it doesn't move during your next adventure. Here is the fourth TV in this unit. And here's that sound system I was talking about. A little tool holder and that exhaust vent. So this is really big. Can't undersell this because if you don't want your bedroom to smell like your Harley after riding it all day, turn those on. It takes all that smell, all that gasoline out of the unit. Who knows? Maybe you like that smell. Up here, you got LED lights for when you're working on it. Here's your awning. Those arms also fold down for more security. They are flying low today. Two more LED lights. Keep this place lit up at night. And then your backup camera. Again, very spacious back area. A lot more convenient than actually setting up outside of this unit. Here's more storage that goes underneath that bed. So if you're gonna go to bed with something that you really need, I would not recommend putting it directly under the bed. However, you can do that. Again, here's that second AC. This is the door to the back area. Close it like that. Again, very big unit, plenty of space, plenty of power. Again, my name is Tristan Akison. And if you can hear me over the Blue Angels, you can contact me at 507-923-5675 to talk about this brand new Thor Motor 2022 29J today. Have a great rest of your day.